Hi, I'm Jennifer Goldstein and I want to take a few minutes to introduce myself to you as well as give you some additional information about the LEAD program. For starters, please call me Jennifer. I've been a professor at Cal State Fullerton since 2012. Before that, I taught at the City University of New York at Baruch College for nine years. If you've already started reading in the Panero and Talbert book, Strategic Inquiry, it looks closely at the SAM program at Baruch. I taught in that program, and Nell Sharf Panero, one of the authors, is my close colleague and mentor. We will be drawing heavily on her work in the LEAD program. Before entering academia, well, I grew up in LA, I went to UC Berkeley, and then I taught fourth grade in Compton for three years and in a newcomer academy for recent immigrants in San Jose for a year before completing my doctorate in Ed Policy and Leadership at Stanford. Those early years in Compton have really provided the moral compass for everything I've done since. And even though it was 25 years ago, in some ways I'm still very much a fourth grade teacher at heart. For me, this program has been my baby, really incubating for the past year and a half. It represents the culmination of many years of different pieces of my career coming together, specifically innovative practice-based leadership preparation curriculum and instruction, partnership with school districts and forward-thinking school districts, and a focus on teacher leadership. I think for my Anaheim counterparts, it represents a focus on succession planning, but they can tell you about that. And that's one of the nice things about partnership. We all bring different lenses and strengths to the table and hopefully correct for one another's blind spots. LEAD also represents a beginning, as we hope the program will serve as a model for other district university partnerships around the state. Our third partner in this endeavor is CCEE, the California Collaborative for Educational Excellence. I'll let your district leaders explain more about CCEE's role when we meet in a few weeks. But suffice it to say that they are a statewide entity and will be watching our efforts closely. So I am your Cal State Fullerton instructor of record for the entire program, though others will join us at times. In addition to me, an AUHSD administrator will serve as co-instructor for each term of the program. This is a crucial aspect of the lead delivery model. You will benefit from local, practice-based expertise, often not present in university coursework. That said, please keep in mind that this is my full-time job, not theirs. So I am your main contact for class-related communications. The best way to reach me is email. I'm generally offline Friday evening through Sunday morning, except for the weekends when we meet. You'll have myself or anything urgent, I will be meeting with all of you periodically out at your school sites in a rotation, and I'm always available to meet remotely via Zoom if the need arises. Now, let's talk about your classes for a minute. Logistically, technically, you are taking two per term, with EDAD 505A and 541 up first. Our campus abbreviation EDAD stands for Educational Administration. That's the department name within the College of Education. You may see this when you register, or log into Cal State Fullerton's online learning management system, which is called Titanium. You'll see it at the end of each term when you complete two course evaluations. Beyond that, however, you're just in lead. We will be teaching in a seamless way with one syllabus, one extended course session on Saturdays. It's not like from 8.30 to 12.30 we're going to do one class and then switch from one to four and do the other. The curriculum will be blended. This will be a bit of a nightmare for me, bureaucratically, but hopefully it will make for a more coherent experience for you. And sometimes I'm going to need you to just play along for logistical purposes. As you know, we will meet face-to-face -face five times per term. This is the heart of where instruction will occur. Think of each meeting or month as a cycle. With the exception of our first class, each meeting will be preceded by several weeks of individual work and online content, mainly reading or viewing things, and then posting about those to online forums, as well as completing written assignments or collecting data. Then when we come together, you'll be in teams engaging in continuous improvement work. So we will use the lead up weeks to do the prep work necessary to scaffold the teamwork that occurs when we are all together. Our continuous improvement work, or what you will often hear me refer to as strategic inquiry, will be focused on improving learning conditions for English learners at your school sites. In this way, the entire LEAD program is aligned to your real work, your jobs, and the overarching needs of the district. It is our sincere hope that 16 months from now, when you wrap up this program, you are well positioned to be equity leaders who inspire your colleagues to move the needle for students. Now, switching gears for a moment, 
You may have heard of the CalAPA, the California Administrator Performance Assessment. This is the exam you will take eventually, but for your cohort year, it is still being piloted. You don't need to pass it. That said, you will pass it because LEAD is very aligned to the direction of the new state regulations, namely thinking in terms of leadership of inquiry and continuous improvement. We will scaffold you and be sure you know what you need to do, but we won't focus on it until next term in the spring. Finally, please, please, be sure you are registered for classes before August 25th. You will need to begin accessing Titanium immediately, the online learning management system. You cannot access Titanium if you're not registered. In the future, video content like this, as well as readings, assignments, anything you would find in a syllabus will be on Titanium. It's also where I will communicate with you via email and where you will post to online forums almost weekly. Do not worry if you're already registered and you do not yet see our course when you go in because I have not made it live yet. Our course site is still under development, but it will be all ready for you in a few short weeks. Please be ready for it. I can't wait to meet all of you, hopefully on August 24th at Superintendent Matsuda's home. Until then, enjoy this last bit of summer, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Take care.